the agents of 1066. Well, it doesn't trip off the tongue quite so well. Not I don't think quite as good. Bad. Yes, hello, AOS fans are having a change today. We're playing this rather brilliant looking game. I love this play, Matt. Uh, I do like a good play, oh, It's Matt. called 1066 Tears to Many Mothers, which is a fantastic quote from somebody who saw Halley's Comet back mm. in 1066, uh, saying how it would, be, it would bring tears to many mothers. There you go. Um, and this which is a game by Hall or Nothing Games. Tristan Hall of Hall or Nothing has created this fantastic historical game, which um, I think would appeal to our viewers. Any so, historians plus any card game you, players. Exactly, and as you play Shadespire and such like, I thought you'd probably enjoy this, so we're going to play this out for you today. It's thir Pete's first game, my third game, so apologies if we get anything wrong. And I'm going to um, use this as my excuse for why Robin beat me. And our Tic Tacs might be all over the place. Um, so, but never mind. We've set up basically, it's, a, it's what's called an asymmetric card game, so we're both kind of doing different things to start off with. Uh, but it all kind of all comes together at the end, I've found. Okay. And when I've played in, in, in a way you don't expect it, you think, well, how on earth is this going to be fair? And then suddenly it is fair, um, which is quite clever. Cool. You'll see that as we go. What you have to do is we'll end up with a hand of cards and we'll be playing down our units and, and, and hit leaders and things here uh, to build up an army and then we'll be trying to complete various objectives which are down here. Uh, we've got a set each and they're different. Uh, and in this, in the in the basic game you play them in order. You can, shuffle, you can play a game where you shuffle them up uh, as long as I guess the Battle of Hastings goes last. Um, but you, um, we're basically in this game working towards the Battle of Hastings. Now, I will say all these people in these cars existed within the Doomsday Book. Yeah. Tristan did all his research uh, and found people who were in the Doomsday Book who fought at this battle. Pretty cool. And all the might and zeal, which are the characteristics of the cards, they're all based, based on, historically. on on how they kind of how much money they had and things like that. Cool. Which is really awesome. The artwork's lovely. It's just really good. I just really well made and you get to learn a little bit about history exactly. at the same time exactly my, uh, I've played this with my son and he's really interested in it which is really good cool. and it has fantastic artwork lovely artwork right so the first thing to do is we've set up we've, we've got our draw pile here we've got our objectives here we've got our wedges here so when we get to the Battle of Hastings it's a game it will be fought in three wedges uh, wedge one wedge two wedge three and uh, that's kind of we'll be playing across the board but, uh, but that's later towards the end of the game you don't have to worry about too much about that at this point in the game, where you do need to think about what cards you put in what wedge, because later on it will fight. They will fight. So if you've got a lot of weak cards in here, you'll keep losing on this edge, wedge edge. But it's quite hard to move cards between wedges, as you'll okay. see later. Can be done, but it takes up valuable resource. I'm going to play the Normans. So I Norman? have, I have, I go first. I have the first player marker, which is here. Cool. Uh, play my, I can place my leader card anywhere I like. So my leader is William Fitzrobert, Duke of Normandy. And the leader cards are basically the same. They have three zeal, three might, and nine health. Mm. And you don't have to place in the same column. I'm going to put mine in the middle. You don't have to put yours in the column. You can put yours anywhere else. It's a bit swings and roundabouts. I, I don't think, know. Uh, Harold's going to take. He's going to take the right flank. Harold. They're very powerful. So if you put them in the middle, they cancel out each other. If you, if you, so if you put them opposite each other, they cancel out. Yeah. If you don't, you're probably going to win that one. But, but lose uh, the other. Uh, one. Lose the other one. Yeah. Yes. So here's uh, where the fighting's going to go. <laughs> draw four cards and you can redraw them if you want. Okay. I shan't because I won't have a clue <laughs> what it means. So the first thing you do, Pete, when you're playing this game is check to see if anybody's won. I've won. Ah, okay, that's the end of the game. No, it's a, if nobody, if, if, if somebody's draw deck is empty, if we're both empty, it's a tie, and if one of us is empty, the other person wins. Okay. Um, I haven't got close to that either in the games I've played. Okay, so then we draw cards. Each player with more than six cards must choose and discard cards from the hands until they have six, and then, but otherwise we simultaneously draw two cards. Okay, so we draw. So now we have six. Now we have six, yes. So to play a card, you have to spend the cost of it. So each card has a rosette on it, that's how much they cost to play. They range from zero up to five, um, and that's how much they cost to play. Now, the ways you generate income is you can discard cards, so you can discard one card and play a card that's worth one. Some of the cards have green rosettes on them after they've been played down, and you can use those to generate money, which I'll show you in a second. And also, it's worth noting that when you play a card, it goes down ready, so you can use it, so you can play a card okay. and generate money from it. And we'll tell you in the beginning of the game, a lot of your objectives involve might, and a lot of my objectives involve zeal. Okay, so I need might to wherever I can. Might, but your defen the defence in your game is, isn't, isn't so bad. It's probably great that, uh, that none of my stuff has might, really, isn't it? So our first objective is automatically... 
Yeah, that, that happens at the end of the okay. at the very end of the you check to see whether you've achieved, achieved the objective at the end. So you basically like effectively like a free go. Yeah. So what will happen is I will choose to play and you will choose to play. I will choose to play. You will choose to play cards until okay. we, until we both stop playing. But you can you, somebody can keep going if the other person stopped. Um, units units and, and leaders go in these spaces and they have to be filled up from here. So I can put one there, but if I put one in this line, it has to go there and there. Yep. And that's important because some some people have abilities that they can use in certain rows. So I've got one that's an event and one that's an attachment. Right. Attachments go on existing cards. Okay. And events happen, it depends on what it says on it, but you can either play them at the time, like in this phase, in which case um, it, the event occurs, or some of them uh, play them, like I think there's one called Shield Ball, which is at the moment, I think if it's an event or not, but you could, I, if I, that's towards in the, in the end of the battle, but I, I attack basically, and you play Shield Ball, which um, means that you do lots of defence. Okay. But you play that at the time, so you can discard cards and red, and, and take money from face up cards at any point. Okay. You don't have to, you don't only have to do it in your turn, but we'll get to that when we. For my first turn, I'm going to remove, I'm going to put down William de Warren, and I'm going to play Thurston Fitzrollo. Son of Rollo, Norman Noble. As Bannerman, Thurston reputedly carried the papal banner, a cross granted to Duke William of Pope, by Pope Alexander II to signify Ooh. papal approval by the conquest of England. So lots of the cards have this kind of flavour text on them, so you can then show you that they're real people and it gives it a real historical feel, which I love. So that's my first kind of action that I've done, and now it's your, it's your turn. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of Hot Pursuit, because that's not useful till when I'm damaging wedges, so it's no use to me now. And I've got no idea if it's any good or not, but I'm going to play... Uh, Ildgith of Mercia. Okay. Um, sister of Edwin and Morcar, Harold married Eglith out of the convenience to cement his relationship with the Earls, much to, Edith, much to Edith Swanish's distress. So I'm going to play her, play her there. Yeah, she's quite good. She's got the family thing, so if you can get Edwin and Morcar out, they cost a lot less. They're less, yeah. Yeah, which is quite a nice little, little trick of the game. Funk. Yep. So I'm going to. In my second turn, I'm going to play. I'm going to tap. I'm going to call it tap because it's that's a Wizards else? of the Coast, Wizards of the Coast rule, uh, tap patented word. But I'm going to going to spend him, and um, I'm going to play Edgar the Ethling. He's a Hungarian noble, mm. and uh, he will he will basically give William plus one zeal later in the game when I need it. So I'm going to turn her because I've got that that little green. Oh yeah, thingy. I'm going to put down Ferocious Resolution attached to a unit again, Zeal plus two. Do I have to put it on either of these two? Yes. So I'll stick it on her. So she now has three Zeal rather than one. Alright. Okay. Back over to you. Over to me. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not going to do anything else either. So now we're into the objective phase. Yes. I presume because we don't fight over the, the wedges until we're at no, the end. Exactly. There's no, no wedge fighting okay. until the end. So... So objective phase, we both score Haley's Comet. Yes, we both score Haley's Comet. Go over there. So we both complete Haley's Comet, and now I have Battle for Full, Battle of Fulford. I have the War Council at Ruan. Yeah. So my one, Pete, is a is a, uh, a battle, a zeal battle, and I have to. It has a three three zeal, so I have to I have to get over three zeal yeah. to do any damage to it. It's got six health, uh, so I need to get over three. At the moment I'm scoring four because I've got three here and one there. Yep. And when he's not tapped, I'd actually score five. So I would do two damage, which would take this down to four as it stood. Okay. But we do it at the end of the turn. Okay. And then yours is a might battle. So yeah. You would fight, and ending over two might, you would do damage to that card. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a new, new, new round, and we start by drawing two cards. Just two. Just two. Yeah. The first thing you do after drawing is readying the cards. Okay. So they all go back round. Yes. And remember, if somebody is tapped, you can't use them. Yes, uh, to do anything to with. To do anything with that they've taken. Uh, rather annoyingly, I've got all the cards in my hand uh, oh, don't have any zeal. I'm going to tap old Turst in here and play... So can you tap and play at the same time, yeah? Yes. So that generates the money. You okay. can generate all the money you need. So if I needed to, I could generate and throw away cards to play. I actually only need one. Well, I only need two. So I'm going to play... Uh, I'm going to throw a card away. William Fitz Osborne. Lord of Britain and play Bretonian Bowman over here. Okay. 
And it's your turn. So I'm going to tap that to get one. And I'm going to get rid of all four of my cards. Wow. To get five to play Leofwine Godwinson, which is um, Earl of Kent. Following the death of their father, Earl Godwin, in 1053, the Godwinson brothers, Harold, Lifwin and Gerth, retained their earldoms and power and controlled the whole of East England. Wow, so he's pretty good. And he has four might. <laughs> I'm going to, for my turn, I'm going to do this action, which is the Bretonian Bowman, well, not Bretonian, Breton Bowman, um, deals one damage to one enemy up to three rows away in, the, in, the, uh, car, in this card's witch. I'm going to put one damage on Godwinson. He's not fond of those arrows. No. <laughs> Watch your eye, mate. Watch your eye. So that, that's my thing. That, that's there. They are okay. tapped out, and it's your. So I don't have anything to do now except okay. for doing my my. Okay, so you just have to wait for me to end, finish. So, yep. I don't think I do yet. So no, I'm I'm not going to do anything. Okay. So then it's the objective time. If you finish first, you take the first player marker. Oh, okay. So you now have the first player marker because you passed out first. Oh. Um, but I think I think I'd resolve my objective. I don't know if it matters which order we do them in. I basically haven't got any extra might. I've just got three from William, one from the tactic. So I have I have exceeded the might of Council of by one, which means I can play one, one damage to it. one damage to the card there. Okay. So I've got. Do I add all these up? Yes. So he's got four and he's got three. Yes. So that's seven, mm -hmm. and this is two. Yes. So I do five damage. You do five. Yes. Okay. So you are basically. Very likely to defeat that next time. The battle of Fulford's looking pretty good for me. <laughs> and then we move round, draw two new cards. Everybody rotates back, yeah. and we draw two new cards. So I go first, don't you I? You go first. So I'm yes. going to play Ship Patrol, which is zero. So it's an event, mm -hmm. and I can draw two cards. So over to you. I'm going to tire this card. I'm tired. And, and shoot you again. Yeah. So that's another wound to Godwinson. Now remember, if I do manage to get nine, I'll win the game, but uh, that's pretty unlikely. But back to me. Back to you, yes. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to tire Ilgith. Made, made Ilgith tired. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of those two cards to play Gareth Godwinson. Oh my goodness me. Five, Whoa. but because I've got Leofwin, yeah. That's my minus Gerth two. is minus two, so he only costs three. Goodness me. And Gerth tried but failed to prevent King Harold from breaking his oath to William by offering to lead the battle of in Harold's stead. Gerth was killed alongside his brothers Harold and Leofwin, so maybe a bit of a spoiler there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gerth wouldn't take out any long phone contracts, if I were you. <laughs> and that's me, I'm done. I'm going to throw away a card. Tostig Godwinson who is Harold's brother, who was a bit nasty apparently, uh, so he actually is useful at the end, he, he, he reduces your zeal Ooh. at the end, but I'm going to get rid of him and use it to play Preparation at Deev, Ooh. which means I can play one card at cost minus three. Ooh, nice. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to play, I'm going to throw away my last two cards, and play Robert Mortan, Count of Mortan, Norman Noble, and he has four might. No zeal. I'm, I'm struggling for zeal. Yeah, you need the zeal, don't you? I need the zeal, yes. On to the objective phase again. Mm -hmm. So I do tons to this one. Yep, so you, you wipe that one out. That's been smashed. And the Battle of Fulford is now passed. And I'm back onto the Battle of Stamford Bridge. And I just... I thought that was a football match recently. <laughs> <laughs> I just scored... I scored five zeal this time, so I scored two damage. Okay, so I'm now on to Stamford Bridge, which is one one. It's a might battle again, by mm -hmm. the looks of it. Um, it's only one axe though, and I have to do six damage. Right, you're, you're, you're uh, well away. Which yeah. I will do straight away. But when destroyed, I must destroy one of my units or characters. Did you have to possible. do that last time as well? Oh yes. Um, when destroyed, you must destroy one of your units or characters if possible. <sighs> oh, okay. Had I remembered, had I realised that, I might have held off getting uh, <laughs> straight away. Oh yeah, oh dear. I'm going to have to get rid of Eid, Eid uh, and her. I'm assuming that would be her and her attachment. Yes. So, so Ildgith of Mercia is gone. Draw two new cards draw again. Two new cards, yes. Uh, you've still got the. Yeah, so I go first. Yeah. I've got nothing to do. Nothing at all. You're no. passing immediately. I'm passing immediately. Pete immediately passed out. Thud. Uh, I am going to throw away. Oh, that should uh, that should go oh, back, yes. shouldn't it? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to throw away Robert Devito. 
Danny's brother. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, he's not very good, but he's I'm going to use him to to play feudal levies, which will give me one goal per turn or one nice. goal per turn. And then in, and then you have passed. That's my go again. I will do another damage to Harold Godwinson. And that's it. And yep, objective time. This is where I'm in a bit of pro- uh, a bit of trouble because I have succeeded at the Battle of Stamford the Bridge. Well. You've got to destroy another one. I've got to kill one of my people off I again. Don't kill Harold. <laughs> <laughs> so Battle of Stamford Bridge. I've got the oh, do yours first. Sorry, go okay, on. I've got the War Council Rod still, and I'm I'm still on five because I've got one. I've got three, four, and one for my tactic. So that's still another. That's just another uh, two. So I'm still not there. Next turn. So, is it, so you you score five. I in score total. five in total, but it's got a it's three, three. Three. So yeah. Wow, that's tough. Okay, yeah. so I uh, I have to score. I've scored four, eight, eleven. I only need six. Okay, so, so you've I've destroyed done that, that. But, but I do have to uh, destroy one of my units or characters. Ow. So I'm going to have to get rid of. Um, I'm going to get rid of Gareth. So I'm now on to march down Ermine Street. Ooh, nice. When destroyed, I may remove one damage from Harold. Then move on uh, to the prayer at Waltham Abbey. I'm still stuck in ruin. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! This is a war council, not a mother's meeting. <laughs> okay, so we draw two cards again. Two cards, yes. Oh, okay. Ah! I'm going to actually get rid of, and it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter with my cards, I'm going to actually get rid of Leofwin. Because okay. the only benefit he has is Girth is minus two costs. I've already got Girth out now. Okay. But Girth has Leofwin and Bream are at cost minus two, right. so he might give me something. He might. I don't have Bream in my hand though, so That's good. I didn't think that would be cheating. Fishy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to place Leofric. Uh, Abbot of, of Peterborough. Leofric was the nephew of Earl Leofric. He was taken ill during the early parts of Hastings' campaign and returned to Peterborough where he died. Well, he lived a very boring life. And I'm gonna He went to Peterborough, left Peterborough, came back to Peterborough and died. died. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take any part in the whole thing. Still died. And I'm going to uh, exhaust him straight away to get one. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to play Stamford Bridge Plunder, which is an event which is Ooh. play one unit for free. Ooh. And then for that, I'm going to place... Saxon battle axe men oh. and place them here. Okay, so I'm going to actually put that there. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to use its action bloodlust. Deal one damage to my card and deal one damage to one enemy in this card's wedge. So I'm going okay. to take those guys oh, out. He's gone. And he's taken a wound. Whereas he's going to get shot to pieces before he gets anywhere near the battle, despite how much uh, progress I'm making him. <laughs> so it's back over to your. Okay, I uh, will get stuck. So I'm actually just going to pass. Just I'll going to pass. First, first player marker, please. Curses, because I'm about to pass now as well. So, so we are on to the objectives. objectives. Yeah. So this is two might. Yeah. And it's got six health, mm. but I've got three. Yeah, you can't three. count that one because it's tired. Oh right, okay. So I don't score this this time. So I've got three and four yeah. for seven. So I've done five for that. I have actually finally ended the council at Ruan. Hooray! With another two damage. Uh, Look, we'll just get two family meal deals and we'll just split <laughs> it up between us, all right. Um, so I'm now on to Papal Blessing and Lawful Claim, which basically William sends his em- embassy to Rome to propose that when he is King of England he will re-establish Rome's control of the English Church. Now when this is destroyed, I can remove one damage from William Fitzrobert and then move on to the dedication of Matilda's Abbey. Ooh. So there we go, so it's me first, isn't it? We'll draw our cards. Draw two cards. Oh, these guys re... Uh... Turn back round again. I'm going to use my feudal levies. Now I'm going to throw away. Yeah, I'm going to throw away Orkney Vikings to play Burn and Pillage, which is worth two, which is an event. Deal one damage to one enemy unit. Then I can play a card that costs minus two. So I'm yeah. going to destroy your guys. So my Saxon battle axe is going to go. I'm going to play Flemish Bowman. Ah! <laughs> you know I'm not going to play anything. Okay, so you're passing out. So that's, I have. that's for you. Thud. Okay, I am going to attack with my Flemish Bowman. Yep. And do one damage to Harold. Harold! Harold's going to be dead soon. So we're on to the objective phase again. Objective phase, I think I, I get slightly more this time because this one isn't as much as you. So that's so only one zeal. It's only one zeal, so I'm, I actually score five, so I actually score four on that one. So I'll actually complete that next turn. I have smashed March down Ermin Street because <laughs> I've got seven and I only needed one. So... When destroyed, I may remove one damage from Harold. Ah! Phew! <laughs> Slightly less dead. <laughs> and my next one is Prayer at Waltham Abbey. When destroyed, I may draw one card and move on to gather forces in London, but Harold stops to pray at Waltham Abbey on his way from the Battle of Stamford Bridge to fight William. 
the English battle cry at Hastings was Holy Cross! Next round. Next round. Okay. So I go first. You go first. So I'm going to turn him yep. to get one and I'm going to play Edward's Chosen Heir. Oh. During this brief reign, Harold showed that as Chosen King he was an outstanding commander. Not sure that's got to do with Chosen Heir. But anyway, I attach it to Harold and he gains plus one deal. Nice. I am just simply going to shoot Harold again. Ow! Leave me alone! <laughs> I'm going to pass out. Okay. Thud. Uh, I'm passing out also. Thud. Okay, so on to the end again. So you've you've successfully done that one, haven't you? Yeah, I've successfully done that one. I can remove one damage from William, but he doesn't have any damage on me, so I won't. Ho ho! And I now move on to the dedication of Matilda's Abbey, which is another zeal battle, same one, one zeal, six wounds. And I'm, when I destroyed, I can withdraw one card. Okay, so mine is a zeal battle, and it's two, and I have. I can't use him. Can't use him. And so I've got one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. So I've done three to that, so I will complete that next round. Mm. And then we draw another two cards. Draw another two cards at the beginning of the next turn. Okay. I'm ready this for Flemish Bowman. Okay, so I'm going to turn this guy and I'm going to play Local Advantage, which I'm going to place here, which gives me plus one might on that wedge. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to turn this guy and this guy. I'm going to play Castle on the Hill, which is a Norman attachment, and gives me, because uh, I'll do it that way, plus two might on that one. Unfair. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to put on this one. Overpowered! So it's back to me. Yes. I'm going to pass out. Okay. I'm going to shoot Harold. Ow! You said that thing about how, yeah, they very rarely die. <laughs> Harold is I haven't dead. played a lot of games, so. Uh, Dead man walking. Right, and then at that point I'm going to pass. Okay, so we've gone to the uh, onto the objectives again, and I get prayer at Walter Malley Abbey sorted. So when destroyed, you may draw one card. So I'm going to draw another card, and then I'm on to gather forces in London. Mm -hmm. When destroyed, I may play one card at cost minus one, then move on to the Battle of Hastings. This is a three zeal, zeal, and six. So. Okay. So, okay, so I'm going to play three more here. I've got three because I've got four and minus one, so there's three on there. Yep. Okay, and then it's the new turn. So pick Another a card. two cards. So I'm going to play local resources. Play one card at a cost of minus three. Ooh. And I'm going to play naturalised Danes. And when played. Marksman deal one damage to one non-leader enemy. So I'm going to have a go at your Flemish Bowman over there. Don't play Marksman. I'll deal one damage to one non-leader enemy. So you've killed... Oh, I said I've got one left. Yes. Well, they're a bit better than the other ones I had, aren't they? I, I think they might be. Yeah. Right. In my turn, I'm going to turn my feudal lives... Levies, sorry, not lives. And I'm going to play Tostig Rally Support. If you remember, Tostig was the dastardly brother of Harold, who was horrible to his people. What a dastard. And he plays that on Harold to give him minus one zeal. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of three cards. I'm going to get rid of Crowning at Westminster, which is give plus one zeal to um, Harold. I'm going to get rid of Saxon Spearman, which is deal one damage to one enemy cavalry, and Saxon Spearman, because you don't seem to have any flipping cavalry. You seem to just have a lot of archers sitting there peppering Harold. <laughs> I've got very much of anything. And I'm going to put Saxon Bowman for my three points that I've just spent. Ooh. And that is Bloodlust, deal one card, one damage, and one damage to you. So I take damage and your bowmen are dead. Get lost and stop shooting me in the face with your bows. Or actually shoot me in the face with the arrows. Throwing bows here. Ow! I mean, I'm not dead, but that really hurt. <laughs> So I'm going to pass, because you just shot my person, so I have the first player mark. Oh, please. curses. I am also now going to pass. So, on to the objectives. The objective, I am going to complete this one. Yep. And I get to draw a card as a result of completing that one. And I've got the Norman set sail, which is a might battle for me. Which you might do a bit better on. Might. Yeah. Or... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am on Gather the Forces in London. It's a three zeal, and I only have four... This is where I'm going to get a bit stuck. On to the next go. 
And then we draw two cards. Right, I'm going to turn that for one again. I'm going to throw away Stable Boys <laughs> to play Flemish Swordsman. Ooh. I'm going to play this over here. What's that do? It's basically two might, but it has an action I can move it. Ooh. Ooh. Which? So I am going to. I'm going to pass. And I'm also going to pass. So I've done one, four, eight, ten. Might I've destroyed this one? Because I can. Well, when destroyed, I must destroy one of my units or characters if possible. So I will destroy my Flemish swordsman. Sacrificed. This next one is the invasion of Sussex, 28th September 1066. Oh. Why is that date familiar? <laughs> <laughs> Objectives wise, I, this is three um, zeal, and I've got three, four, back to three, four, five. Right. So I've done two, two more there. More. <laughs> Not enough yet. So then we draw two more, two cards, more cards next turn. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Unhorse the Duke, which is three damage to the enemy leader. And get I'm going to get rid. It. Sorry. Get rid of it. Yeah. Oh. I'm also going to get rid of Saxon spearmen because you still ain't got any horses. Still ain't got any horses. And I'm also going to get rid of Shield Wall. Those three to play followers. Oh. When played, support play another card at minus one. So I'm going to place that there, and then I'm going to place at minus one Bloodlust. It's an action for one, so it's zero. It deals two damage to an enemy. So I can't place it on him because he's a character, is that right? Uh, no, he's an enemy, so that's alright. Okay, so that's two damage to him. Okay, well I'm going to levy him. I won't be able to levy the other guy anymore. Um, so I'm going to have to throw some cards away. I'm going to have to throw away three cards. I'm going to play Robert de Beaumont. Ooh. Fearsome, destroy. Oh no, so what to do? I remember now. I'm actually going to play him here. Fearsome destroy one non-leader enemy in this card's wedge. So That's going to have to be that one. No, because it could be. It's a, he's not a leader. He's a character. Oh, he's a character, right? Yeah. I see. Oh, so girth's gone. Although I'm looking a bit light. <laughs> Any other wedges? Yeah. Although uh, there's not a lot going no, on over there. No, no, nobody's, nobody's over there. Uh, I've got Leaf Frick uh, over there yeah. who came, went over somewhere, went away, came back and died. Okay. And then it's your. Turn. So I am passing out. Okay. Well, I'm going to pass too. Okay. So we're going to the end phase, and this is three zeal. Zeal, keep forgetting that. I've got three, four, back to three, four, five. That's three, so I do two more. Slowed you right down. I thought I had there. it. Slowed you, you right down. If you hadn't got rid of girth. Uh, yes. Yeah. So and I. That's it. Uh, my objective is. Ah uh, no, I've made an error. You've made an error. I've made an error. In a similar error to one you made earlier. Oh, damn it, never mind. When destroyed, I must destroy one of my units or characters if possible. Oh. So I think I've destroyed it, unfortunately. Three, four, so seven, ten. Take away three, seven. So I have destroyed it, but I have You've just lost got this to get rid of expensive chap that I just played. I think worth than losing your expensive chap. No, exactly. I am now at the Battle of Hastings, though. As am I, soon. Oh no, you, you've managed to overtake me. Cassio! Oh. <laughs> no! Okay. So now we go back round to the next go. Yes, we all go first tonight. Okay, so I grab two cards. So it's round to my turn, and I, I'm just going to pass out. So I'm going to pass out as well. Oh. So on to the um, objectives, and I finish gather the force oh. in London. And at that point, when destroyed, I may play one card at cost of minus one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of Forced March, okay. which is deal six damage to March down Ermine Street, which is way back in my deck. And I'm <laughs> going to place uh, Edith Swanisher. Ah. Uh, action, Muse, remove one damage from one Saxon unit or character. Sometimes mistranslated Edith Swanneck. Edith was fair. Was the Edith the Fair was the devoted, headfast, common law first wife to King Harold. Oh, handfast, not headfast. <laughs> Right, I'm going to, um, on Battle of Hastings, I am going to do something, I'll do the Battle of Hastings. So, we don't do the mic combats yet, because you are not here. I'm going to do mic combat here, but I can get zeal combat, which I suppose is winning over the locals or something, I don't know. So, for each wedge, in order one through to three, resolve a zeal battle. In a zeal battle, each player sums up their total battle value of already cards they control at that wedge. If one player has a higher battle than the other, that, then that player takes one damage deals one damage. If it's equal, 
then we both do one damage. If it's zero, then no damage is dealt. If you're not there yet, which you weren't at the start of the round, you cannot deal damage to a wedge, even if you fulfill the conditions, but you can stop me from dealing damage. So I can't deal damage here. Because I've got, you've got nobody there. Yeah, I've got nobody there. Um, and I can't do damage there because I've got nobody there, but I can, I've got three to your two, but I've got four because he's got extra one here. Yeah. So I've got four to your two, which means so you deal, deal one, one damage, damage there. there. So when is it the might is used instead of zero? We, I mean, Once we're both there. You, after this turn, when you're in the Battle of Hastings as well, we'll right. do might and zeal. Okay, righty. Cool, okay. But zeal is much less effective. Yeah. Because the uh, it's the difference in combat score we'll do. Yes, we'll do the damage. Yeah. Okay, so then we, we draw two new cards draw for the next new round. Two cards for the next round, yes. I'm going to pass out. All right, I'm going to levy one. I'm going to throw away these two cards to play... Norman Horseman. Hello, my name's Norman Horseman. <laughs> <laughs> Into there. Why well, the long face? <laughs> okay, and I am going to. You can't because you passed out. Oh yes, good point. Actually, can I put it there? You can. Anything else for you? Uh, no. So you're passing out as well. I should pass out as well. So we go on to the battle of yes. wherever the wherever we are. Battle of Hastings. Okay. So we start here, mm -hmm. and we first we do. So in, in each row, we sum the might total battle value, and if one player is higher, then that player deals the damage equal to the amount which it exceeds. And if it's equal, then it's we do one each. So this row, I've got two, and you've got eleven to gazillion. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so and I've got two, so you put six on there. Rah, tis mine. Six. Okay. And then we do zeal. No, and then we do this row. Oh, okay, right. Which you win? Which you I win? I've got seven to seven, my two, so, so you I get five. five. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. And then not a sausage on that end one. Because there's hang on, no. Uh, uh, oh, yes, you've got might. the castle. Yes. So, oh, yeah. So good I point. Get two. You didn't. Oh, you had an extra thing on there. Oh, I did. Yes. Good point. Mm. Got that card there, which gives me plus one might. Yes. Okay. Yeah, then we do zeal. So zeal is you're going to get one more. Yep, yeah, because I've got You've three. Got I only got three. Okay. I get I get three here. You've got I've got four here. So I've got this extra. I've only got two. So you win. And then you win that one. And I win on that one. That one's the contested territory. Yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we draw up. And we draw up. So I go first, so I'm going to get rid of three cards. I don't know if I'm getting rid of the right ones here. I'm getting rid of Shield Wall, but that's an event. I'm getting rid of Slings and Rocks, which is an event, because I see them as just one-off things, which aren't going to be so useful for me. And I'm going to get rid of Shire Levies, because I don't want any Halflings. And with those three, I'm going to put Naturalised Danes over here, which, when played, deal one damage to one non-leader enemy. So I'll play it on... I might as well place it on them. I don't think it's going to matter which one I place it on because that one's already going to be one and that one's already going to be one. So I'm going to play, I'm going to use one of those, I'm going to throw away Cavalry Trample, which again I thought I might be able to use over there, um, but I can't. So I'm going to throw away Cavalry I'm going to play the Norman Axemen over here. Oh, which are two. They cost two and they're three might though. Yeah. Okay, and then Curse it's your you. decision. I'm going to pass out. Okay, I'm going to pass two. Okay, so we go back around to calculating, so I've won this You've one. You've won, that's yours, yeah. So, do we do we do anything with it, you or just, just you have the card? Okay, my card. But then I think I'm going to win this one. Yeah, quite quite decidedly. So my card. And this third one, where the battle takes place. So you win on might. So you've got three, four, five, yeah. and I've got two. So you've got three. <laughs> and then I put one on for zeal. For zeal. Mm -hmm. Take one off for of that one there. Okay. Draw new cards. Yeah, two more new cards. I'm going to get rid of Veteran Archers and I'm going to play Saxon Axemen and that is, uh, that's it. Okay, I'm going to use this and I'm going to throw away, I'm actually going to throw away this Williams Counter-Attack card, I don't think it's going to be that useful unless you do something horrid and I'll get upset, but uh, we'll see. And I'm going to play Gerald the Seneschal two might over there and he's when played 
do one enemy to do one damage to one non-enemy leader. So I shall shoot your guy down there. At the bottom. At the bottom, so they're dead. Turn, yeah. Shot in the bottom. <laughs> okay. I just realised I've got an action on this card. Ah. Move one Saxon unit or character to a different wedge. Yes. Sorry, I completely forgot about that. We'll do that. Before you passed. Yeah. Okay. So, so on my next go round, I'll, I'll move them to there to instead. That. Okay. I'm going to pass. Okay, so on to me. So he's exhausted now, I presume? Yes. Okay. So I'm also going to exhaust her and use her action. Remove one damage from one Saxon unit or character. Take that off of there. Oh, and then I'm going to use their ability. Uh, which is do one damage to me and do one damage to you. So I'm going to take out your your Norman Axeman. Norman Axeman. And take one damage. Ooh. I think it's too little too late. Sure Never mind. Okay, so then we're on. We both passed out. You passed out first, I think. I could have used before I passed out. I could have used my ability to move one of my men across. Oh yeah, go on. Do you mind if I do that? No, that's fine. Okay. So does that mean I passed out first then? Well, you did more things. So yes, I yes, got true. Yeah. yeah. I won't. I won't move him as well. I just, I just move that one guy. Sorry. I'll well, you can't move another one, can you? After you. Oh no, because he's because he he's, 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 Yes. Yeah. Okay. So in the end again, nothing happens here. Nothing happens here because they're already one on this one. I've only got two might and you've got six. Six. So you've got four, you're only one off of winning. And I get one for What did you do over there? I moved him across okay. from that side. I was just thinking why you, you've turned him, now you've got you've lost three might. I took out your guy who had three might. Uh, okay, so it didn't do much enough. that no, time, but no, next time. He would have done, but yeah. I managed to because I can move. Yeah, that's true. I managed to squeeze four no? No. Yeah, nine. Four? Nine. Yeah, and I get one, one for zeal. <laughs> and we're on to the. Then we draw two up for the last guy. So everybody turns back around. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to play that. Throw these two cards away. Earning you three. And play a few de Montfort. When played, one marks me destroy one non leader enemy. So I'll destroy the guys at the end there. Yep. I think the three might, yes. I think that's it. I can't beat you, so I'm going to pass out. Okay. And yes, so I. You have won. Yeah. You have bested moi. Uh -huh. was, History was repeated. It was. I wouldn't like to say that I was fighting an uphill battle here, but uh, <laughs> I think you had a distinct advantage. Well, haven't, played, haven't played before. <laughs> haven't played before, and I was playing the losing side. I don't want to give it away, folks, but if you read up on it, Harold doesn't come out of it so well. <laughs> Ends up with quite a severe squint. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad game. I quite like that. I really like it. I it's, love the look and feel of it. I like all the more, historic. Yeah, I think I like the look and feel of it almost more than the game itself. It makes it just playing it just really pleasant. Yeah, it's I, nice. It's. Uh, I just like all the little fluffy tails yeah, exactly. and all the cards I, I, and stuff I, like that. I love the way it plays. I do enjoy the way it plays. I, I think as you got better at it, as we play, as you play more games, you. It would perhaps become a bit more tactical. Yes. It's a bit kind of like we kind of race to the end and then. You smash on through and you're and like, then, get and everything! Then, and then it is tactical at the end. When I played, I, I thought I had it sewn up. I had everything full. I thought yeah. this is brilliant. But then, and I, and the, but then my, my son, he, he took one and I took one. And then I couldn't move anybody around. And it yeah. was really difficult then to. To, but this, today we have far less units in play. I've got loads more events today than I, in my other game that I played. Yeah, I was playing loads of stuff. I just chucked loads of stuff out to play things early on. But then I got, I got um, the two brothers early on, and they helped me power through some of the early ones. Mm. But then I kind of I lost, I lost momentum, and you ended up at the Battle of Hastings before me. Although I don't think that made a difference in the end. I yeah. think it was just more the fact that I, I feel like it might be deliberate. That happened in both games. That I've played. Admittedly, it's hard to say it's deliberate after only two games. Yeah, the first game we didn't play it quite right. But the, 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 this, you've got a lot of might on your team, not much zeal. So yeah. you, you accelerate through. But that one is zeal, isn't it? And it's quite hard for you to yeah. get through it. And I catch, and I catch up. Yes. Happened in both games. Yeah. I, I think the key to this is to the first few rounds to draw up more cards and play less. Yeah, but you can't have that many. You only have six, and if you start getting more than six, you have to discard. So you ah, yes, yeah, so you can't actually do that much. No. I think it's it's a problem when you have, because like near the end, I had two cards which were both um, five cost, oh, yes. which was which was great. One of them was destroy a unit, 
and then do other things. See, other I had ones. a card that was five cost, and which would have been able to play to him to, if I'd had him play three cost, where he was already down. If they'd been the other way around, I could have played them both. But yeah, it's interesting. I like that the way you've got like family members and stuff. Um, it's really good. Yeah, I quite like that. Mm. Not a bad game at all. That 1066. Do I really enjoy, enjoy it. it. Yeah, I, and, he, and apparently he's working on something else now. I can't which another historical battle might have been Siege of Malta. Yeah, cool. Uh, and then we are similar, but they'll be compatible, so you can actually put William in, in, in the <laughs> Siege of Malta, cool. which is kind of a kind of, kind of fun. I really, I really enjoy. It. I want to play more games, and I think it will get really tactically interesting when you both know the decks. Yes, better. I think that's part of it because right now we're like picking up and going, "Ooh, what's that one? Ooh, what's <laughs> yeah, that one?" Yeah. Whereas yeah. if you know that you've got certain cards in it that you're after. You can you can try and draw for them a bit more, although it's quite a large deck. Yes. So your there are rules vary where you draw more cards, yeah. and then you're more likely to run out of cards because you draw fast, and if you run out of cards, you lose. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think more cards might be might make it more interesting, just because you get more options. It would definitely speed the game up because yeah. you'll play more units, and there'll be more damage getting thrown around everywhere. I was worried that Harold was going to get shot to pieces by your archers. Just kept well, yeah, there, it's quite funny because quite often, I mean, I had quite a few cards. I think that did damage when I had the archer card I've got a few archer cards which do damage but you didn't get any so you couldn't do damage no I didn't do it back no. to take them out no um, it wasn't until I started getting the uh, the naturalised Danes and, uh, and yeah. stuff like that which they they were quite handy I there's me. a few other uh, so the elf, something else the last time I got loads I didn't get this time I can't remember what it was now oh, I didn't get any arrow in the eye cards which you, know, you, you wouldn't really want me to have But I did have the one that was unseat the, uh, yes. the duke which yeah. was three damage to you but then I had loads of cards which are like do damage to to cavalry and you you never played any no, cavalry no I got one right towards the end I got yes one. yeah and yeah. I had loads of those yeah. like just right fine they're not playing with cavalry there fine. are solo rules which I haven't played yet I think it'd be quite fun to play solo how do you play solo then I don't know I think you must set up one unit one set and then just uh, play I guess yeah, yeah. I don't know how you do it I've not, not read the rules but yeah that would be quite good fun to play solo so yeah I really, I really enjoy it I really, I really rate it as a game and I really rate it as a inspiration for teaching kids and adults uh, Battle Hastings no, yeah. Hastings. much more immediate and you've got a lot more understanding of all the different people involved yes it gives you that visual aspect and it turns it into a game which is uh, yeah. which is a great way to help I think we'll be using learn. it quite often it says at secondary school that uh, my kids have to have had to invent their own board games my uh, kids have to do that a lot as well oh, yeah okay. my oldest oh, does okay, yeah. right. so uh, this would be brilliant Look yep. what I've invented. Oh, look at this game. It's <laughs> I brilliant. It, I got it all published. It's just going to be like, oh, I think you're lying. No, 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 completely. But, but it's a really good... Uh, we, for one of their games, we took another game we had and they rewrote it to fit the theme. Um, and I think this is a really good... You could do something similar yep. with this. Yep, so, uh, obviously, so, there's an awful lot of game balance. Yes, that, that is the thing. But then for a kid's game, for, a, for a homework, you don't really need game matter. balance at well, all. Well, you know, it depends on how much of a purist you are. No, we have to playtest this. We've only done 40 hours playtesting. We have to keep going, but Dad, I want to go to bed. Shut up. Shut up and playtest. <laughs> now, what did you think about this card? Do you think it's overpowered? <laughs> Leave me alone, Dad. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. I quite like this. For the first game, I didn't do too badly. And it's I love the playmat. I don't think the playmat comes in the game. I think it was a Kickstarter thing that they've sent me on top. It may do. Very, it very doesn't nice. fit in the box, which suggests that so it probably doesn't. doesn't. Probably doesn't come in the game. But I really like I it. I mean, you don't need the mat by any stretch of the imagination, but it's handy to have. Yeah, you don't need it. Yeah. It's just nice. It's really, and I just love the artwork on it. He's got another game out called Gloom of Killforth, which is more role playing y. All right. Um, which is kind of a deck building, I think. All right. uh, uh, if we get uh, if if this goes well, if lots of people like this, I might see if we can get hold of a copy of that and play it for you in amongst our tiny schedule where we don't have much to do. Yeah, uh, I mean we don't have a lot to fill the channel these days. So no, exactly. It's nice to fill well, fill our time really. Yeah, a lot, exactly. A lot I mean Pete loves it when I go. Oh, I've got this game, Pete. I can live. We, can we fit it I in? I live for those text three messages. Hour, three hour, <laughs> uh, three hour recording session a week. Can we play three hours? two games? Like two and a bit hours. Two two games of Shades <laughs> by uh, and and another game, please. Um, so yeah, so 1066 definitely made an impression on me because it actually made it into the schedule. It did, so yeah. Well done, guys. And we're both a bit uh, history nerds as well, yes, so yeah. it's it's uh, it's great for for teaching you a lot of the um, a lot of the real stuff. And at the I same love time. the fact that the counters are tears. Yeah, I like that. Or they or they blood drops. Oh, well, I, see I guess they are tears because yes. it's um, um, tears to many mothers. tears to many mothers. So yeah. that does make sense. Although it does also it might look like blood drops. Yeah, that's well. true. Maybe you also like tears and mine are blood drops. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's perfect. What it is. Perfect. Blood that was even better. Yes, yeah, so I really, I think you're probably right. Actually, they were meant to be blood drops. But so yeah, definitely check that one out. Worth a look. See, I reckon. Bye. Bye.